Hey y'all, Lily here with Miss Kiss Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today's Tumblr tutorial, I'm going to show you how I created this glittered alcohol ink tumbler. I really don't know what to name this tumbler, so I guess we're just gonna stick with that. Like always, all of my materials will be listed in my description below, including some direct links and coupon codes. And don't forget to find me on all of my socials, Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. I'm starting with a 20 ounce skinny stainless steel tumbler from Maker Flow Crafts. I've sanded this tumbler down with a 180 grit sanding block and I wiped it down with 91% alcohol. I'm going to paint this tumbler white with my white apple barrel paint. It does not matter the finish of paint. I'm going to use this paint as my glitter adhesive. The glitter that I'm using is from Glitter Heart Co. Reflection. I wanted like not a chunky like cut but not like a um a fine cut for this tumbler so that's why i chose reflection it's a nice white and silver color and i'm going to add only one color on this tumbler so if you want you can spray paint your tumbler and apply your glitter using the epoxy method or mod podge method whichever method you like i just want to use this method just to make it easier for me and just have that glitter be applied in one like setting i guess i didn't want to wait because you know, I don't have any patience. <laughs> so I had to actually apply a lot of this paint on this tumbler because I didn't want it to be transparent. So if you are using a different type of paint or if your paint is transparent, that I would recommend you applying one coat of paint, letting that coat of paint dry, and then add the second coat of paint until you can't see that stainless steel. Especially if you are using a lighter color white glitter, you don't wanna see that stainless steel in the background and you don't wanna see like brush strokes, if that makes sense. So just make sure your tumbler is completely painted and it's not transparent and you can't see that stainless steel. Once I applied all that paint to the tumbler, I took my glitter and I just dumped that glitter all over the tumbler. Again, using this one color, look how beautiful that color is. I love how it's like silver and holographic and white. It's beautiful. <laughs> After I applied all my glitter on my tumbler, I am wiping or knocking off all the excess glitter. And then I'm going to let the paint underneath the glitter dry for about 20 to 25 minutes. This is gonna depend on how thick of paint you added to your tumbler. And then I'm going to seal this glitter. I am using my Krylon Crystal Clear Acrylic Coating to seal this glitter. Uh, this is just to keep that glitter in place because we're going to add alcohol ink over that. So you're gonna spray about one coat of this on your tumbler and then let it dry for 20 minutes before moving on to the next step. And while that tumbler was drying, I went in my alcohol ink box. I have so much. This is just an Ikea container that I uh, purchased from Ikea. It's actually really simple and easy to store these. And for some reason, I'm in like this blue and gold moment right now. So every tumbler I'm doing is like blue and gold. So I grabbed all of my blues or the blues that I thought would look nice. And then um, I added some gold flakes. So these are the colors that I am adding to the tumbler. I just got like light blue, dark blue, and then I added one teal color. I'll have these brands and colors listed in my description below just to have a nice list for y'all. And then I'm going to add some of the gold flake. I'll also have that listed in my description, but we're gonna add that at the end. So what we're first going to do after that tumbler has been sealed is apply that alcohol ink on the tumbler as you see me doing right now. <laughs> So my only goal for this step was to add a swirl of alcohol inks. So I wanted to stop at the, start at the top of the tumbler with my inks and then swirl around to not have a straight line. I wanted to add it in a diagonal angle. I didn't really uh, think about which colors I was adding next to my tumbler. All I know is I wanted them to kind of mix. Also, I started with a very thin line of alcohol ink, so you'll see that the line is a little thinner. And then towards the end, I started to like add to the sides to thicken it up. I didn't want just like a straight swirl, so if some was kind of like bulky in one area and thinner than the other area, then that was fine. I just want it to be as natural looking as possible. Again, I don't really know what to call this tumbler. I don't know if it's like a geo swirled a geode swirl tumbler or what but i don't know it's just it's something that i thought would look cute and pretty so i thought i'd try it um i am using like a makeup fan 
I purchased from Amazon. I'll have that linked in my description. I use this fan to dry these alcohol inks quicker. A lot of times whenever you add alcohol inks to a tumbler, they tend to run a little bit or spread. So that way, if I found myself like really drenching that glitter area with the alcohol inks, this fan let it dry immediately. I used the second setting and this was such a lifesaver in my mind, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if it was really doing anything or drying it, but none of my inks tend to spread or uh, really like drip down my tumbler. So I really like this fan. I thought it was a good idea and it was just like seven bucks on Amazon. I thought it's a really great investment. <clears throat> And now you'll see me adding just a little bit of inks to the side. This is just making that swirl just a little thicker. Um, I wanted enough swirl so you can see it on most sides of the tumbler. So make your swirl as thick or as thin as you like and use as many colors or as little colors as you like. This video is made for inspiration and I know whatever you create is going to be beautiful. Once I was finished with adding the inks to my tumbler, I'm going to go right in with my gold flake. I'm not sealing my tumbler at all. I'm going to add that um, gold flake around the edges of my alcohol ink. And the way that I'm going to apply my gold flake is my Helios Crafters glue. This was the first time using this glue. And this is similar to Mod Podge, except for it dries tacky. So you want to have an adhesive that dries tacky. So the tack it over and over will also work as well. If you add these flakes with a wet adhesive, it's not going to stick. These flakes are kind of like foil. You need that tackiness to let those flakes really stick to that area. And I don't use flakes that much. So um, I always forget that. So you'll see that I try to add those flakes while that... Um, crafters glue was still wet and I didn't really accomplish anything but a kind of a mess. All I did was take a very small paintbrush and then I lined around that blue area. I did this all at once so I added all the paint at once and then I added the gold flake. Well you're gonna see me try to add the gold flake while the paint is wet but again make sure this paint is still dry or make sure it is dry whenever you're adding that gold flake because it does dry tacky. Um, so my goal for this part was to make sure that all of that blue was outlined with the gold flake so I wanted to make sure that there was no blue outside of that gold flake line. I also used my little makeup fan to allow this to dry a little quicker, so that did come in handy for this step as well. Once I finished applying my gold flakes to my tumbler, I went back with my crafters glue and I sealed my gold flake area. I was only concerned about sealing the gold flakes and not the alcohol inks because the alcohol inks aren't going to move around whenever I apply my coat of epoxy. If you do not seal your gold flakes, the epoxy is going to allow that gold flake to move around everywhere. So make sure you are sealing those gold flakes after you place them on the tumbler. And that's why I love this Helios glue because it's not only a glue and not only dries tacky, but it does act as a sealant as well. And this works perfect for this tumbler.
One major tip I have is after you apply your gold flake to the tumbler, you're going to see me pat that gold flake down into the glitter. You wanna make sure you're patting that gold flake down very well because whenever you go to epoxy your tumbler, you don't want little areas of your tumbler to be bumpy where that gold flake was. You want a nice smooth tumbler at the end. And then once I apply that sealer at the end to my gold flake, we're going right into epoxying after that sealant is dry. So make sure once you seal your gold flake that you add the sealant, you add your, your crafter's glue to seal those flakes in. Once that dried for about 15 to 20 minutes, I then moved right into epoxying my tumbler. For my epoxy, I use a total of 40 milliliters of epoxy for my 20 ounce tumbler. That's 20 mLs part A and 20 mLs part B, totaling 40 mLs of epoxy. I took my 20 ounce tumbler and I times that by two and that's totaled 40. So that's why I use my 40 mLs of epoxy when I'm applying my epoxy to a glitter tumbler. I let that tumbler spit on the cup turner for about four hours. I then turned off my cup turner and then I let my tumbler air dry or air cure for another 20 hours. Once the first coat of epoxy cured, I noticed that I had some bumps in my tumbler. I didn't have bubbles, I just had some um, of the gold flake still peeking through and I had some of my glitter peeking through my epoxy. So I didn't feel comfortable sanding this tumbler. Instead, I went right in with the second coat of epoxy. I use about 15 mLs of epoxy for this second coat. So about 7.5 part A and 7.5 part B, totaling 15 mLs of epoxy. I didn't wanna sand this and compromise the design. I didn't wanna ruin the, the, the design. So I figured I would add another thin coat of epoxy to this tumbler. So whenever this coat cured, I can sand this tumbler down and not worry about sanding away my glitter or sanding away my gold flake. And once that second coat of epoxy was cured on my tumbler, I took my X-Acto knife and I cut the rim of the tumbler, just removing any of that excess epoxy that may have cured on the tumbler. And then I took my 120 grit sanding block and I sanded the tumbler down. I was able to use a, a lower grit sanding block because I did add those two coats of epoxy to my tumbler. So I first used my sanding block to sand the rim. And what I do is I sand around the rim and I sand so much to expose the tiniest bit of stainless steel, just so when I epoxy my tumbler for the last coat of epoxy, it allows that tumbler to create a seal around the rim so I don't have to worry about that epoxy chipping. I then took my sanding block and I sanded it around the tumbler just to make this tumbler nice and smooth, not worrying that I'm going to sand away any of the glitter because I did have that second coat of epoxy added to my tumbler. And of course, after I sand, I went in with my 91% alcohol and I wiped around the entire tumbler before adding the decal to my tumbler. And then I'm going to go right into placing a decal on my tumbler. I'm using this blue tealish color shifting vinyl. This is like super pretty and I thought it complemented this tumbler so well. I'm going to apply this decal in the white area and the decal I'm applying is, it says you are enough. And I have this digital file posted on my Etsy shop. I will have my Etsy shop and my website posted in my description below. And it doesn't matter if you are using permanent or temporary vinyl because you're going to apply your epoxy over this entire tumbler and seal in this decal to the tumbler.
And when I'm adding my decals to the tumbler, I like to use my cup cradle from Imagination 3D. I'll also have that linked in my description below. And once I apply my decal, I always seal on my decals with my CC DIY Quick Coat. This is a urethane sealer, and this allows that decal to stick to the tumbler. So whenever you epoxy over your tumbler, you don't have to worry about your decals lifting. This stuff is a lifesaver, and I use this on every single tumbler that I apply my decals to. And this sealer takes about 10 to 15 minutes to dry on your tumbler. And once this sealer is nice and dry, we're going to move on with epoxying the tumbler for the two final coats. So for my final coats for my tumbler, I am adding two final coats. So I'm adding two thinner coats of epoxy rather than adding one thicker coat of epoxy. The reason why I like to add two thinner coats is because I think with the two thinner coats, it allows that tumbler to be nice and smooth and it's not as bulky than adding that thick final coat. So I added two final coats of 15 milliliters of epoxy. So that's 7.5 mLs part A and 7.5 mLs part B, totaling 15 milliliters of epoxy per coat. So I added the 15 mLs of epoxy. I let this tumbler spin on the cup turner. I let it cure. And then I clean up my rim with my X-Acto knife for that dried epoxy. And then I added another final coat of 15 milliliters of epoxy for my last coat. And once that final coat of epoxy was cured on my tumbler, I took my X-Acto knife for the final time and I cleaned up the rim of my tumbler. And then I washed my tumbler out with Dawn dish soap. I wash the inside and outside of every tumbler that I do. And then I add that lid to the tumbler. And here's the final tumbler. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating this video. And if you would like to purchase this tumbler or any other tumbler I may have created in the past, be sure to check out my website, misskisscreations.com. That will be linked in my description below. And also don't forget to follow me on my socials, TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tumbler and crafts videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.